Welcome back to Brocast Performance. On today's episode, we're finally going to drive the one-ton Toyota. Uh, first, we're going to drive it around this field a few times, get a feel for it, make sure the brakes and stuff work, and uh, make sure everything's all right, and then we'll take it on the road. So yeah, follow along. Come on, copper. Come on. Taking around the field a few laps. Uh, this is Copper, my little co pilot. Here we go. Let's try reverse. Brakes are a little loose. Let's see how it does on the road. Brakes could be a little better, but they do stop. I think we'll have to change the fluid and bleed them out and check the pads and all that stuff. Ah, uh, we're going to the gas station if I didn't say that. It only shifts if I let off the gas, but these old transmissions, that's kind of normal. I did flush the fluid out, maybe that'll get better. And I'll probably have to check it after this drive. Uh, put some gas in. All right, the handle does fit all the way in there, so I don't think it'll spill. Just 
got to get the right angle. Okay, everything uh, seemed to be working so far. Got to the gas station, was able to fill up. Uh, let's take it back and uh, we'll probably make it. I really like this truck guys and uh, I'd really like to know what you guys think. Would you like a truck like this? Um, you know, I know it needs tires and it probably could use a brake job and this kind of stuff, but thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and if you want to see the channel better, share the videos. Thanks for watching and peace out. Alright, copper. Go get them. Alright guys, well it's not as nice of a daily driver as I thought it would be. Um, I have two problems right now. It's overheating and I keep throwing off the alternator belt. Uh, and the alternator on this is a uh, pain in the butt, which is surprising. So I think I'm going to flush the coolant and maybe uh, research the alternator a little bit. It turns out that it was overheating because when the alternator belt falls off, that also runs the water pump. Um, it does need the coolant change, but I'm not going to do that quite yet. I got the alternator pump on now, or the alternator belt on now. Uh, there was a new one in the truck. Um, so yeah, we're going to take it for another drive and uh, see how it does. So of course we're going to pressure wash out the uh, engine bay. And uh, it's running right now, so we're not going to get anywhere near the air filter and try and stay away from anything electrical. As you can see now, it's all clean, nice and clean back there. Kind of clean up there. Okay, so uh, what else I was working on while it was broken is I made uh, wooden bedsides and this is all recycled wood and uh, scrap bolts and stuff. Um, so I got the back plate on, just a piece of aluminum diamond plate. I did buy these rings, so I have a tie down ring there. Um, that's just black stain on uh, recycled deck boards and these boards, 2x4s are from my house. And then for the latch on the back, uh, the boards are just sitting in there. And what I have is two angle irons welded together and bolted in there to that 2x4. Uh, that is the old alternator belt. Yeah, so uh, let's take it for another drive. Okay guys, we've made it uh, 25 miles at the Home Depot and bought some cement for my new house uh, it went from being uh, real nice when it was quiet and uh, idling and now after putting 25 miles on it it's quiet when I'm going 50 and loud when I'm idling uh, lots of belt squeaking and stuff uh, I think I've driven it farther than it's been driven in a long time so uh, let's see if we can make the approximately 15 mile journey back home all right, listen closely and maybe you can hear the noises that it makes when it slows down. Hey, copper. Ooh, can you hear that? Sounds spicy. What are you doing? You get that noise when you accelerate? No. 
Your fan belt is loose. My what? And when you break, your foot goes all the way down. Which means there's air in the system. Anything else? No. Apart from the rear brakes are worn out. The front right tire is a bit soft, which explains why you're weaving so much. <laughs> How can you tell? My ass. I'm thinking maybe it's the AC uh, tensioner pulley. I, I did adjust that one a little bit. It was pretty much touching the AC compressor, and uh, I don't think the air conditioning works in this. So I wasn't too worried about it being too tight. Uh, it is starting to shift a little better. We're at approximately uh, 35 miles total now. Yeah, it's just pretty hard. Uh, and it doesn't like to shift when it first starts up. I think maybe all the fluid in the uh, torque converter goes back into the transmission or something. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do next to this truck. Uh, I guess it depends on probably on what's with brakes next. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to drive it for a while and uh, I'll tell you guys what happens after that. So uh, thanks for watching this episode and please like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.